there my friend, welcome back. This is Matt Hutchinson. I hope you're keeping really, really well and you've had an amazing, amazing day. So in this particular blog, what I would like to talk to you about is the road to success or what I believe or what I perceive the road to success to be. Um, so this is going to be a little bit different to what I've normally, what I normally do because um, I was out, about, where it's come from is I, I was out and about today and I was walking down this particular road and it, um, I walked down it quite frequently and um, as I was thinking about I was this morning, um, it made me start to think about what is the road to success and what does it mean to me? So what I'd like to do is I'd like to share with you a slightly different kind of video um, and to, to give you a slightly different perspective on what a road to success could consist of. So without further ado, let's go to the computer and let's have a look at what a road to success is. And I'll narrate a little bit about what my thoughts and feelings are as we go through the video. So, this has been Matt Hutchinson. I look forward to speaking to you very, very soon, in about 30 seconds, less than. If not, why not? Let's have a go, come on, let's go. So, welcome back. So as you can see here, I'm walking down this road and I walk down quite frequently. Um, and what you can see, or what I'm attempting to um, share with you here, is that don't look back. If you want to go down the road that you're to success, you have to keep looking forward, keep moving forward. So as you're walking down the street, as you're walking down the road, as you can see, put one foot in front of the other, keep moving forward. It's as simple as that. Doesn't matter where you've been, what you've been doing, as long as you keep moving forward, that's it, as I'm saying, you know, don't look back. You don't want to see where you've been, you want to look to see where you're going. And that's the whole point about this road to success. This is the starting point. So put one foot in front of the other and keep moving forward. It's that simple. So as you can see here, as I'm walking up the road, as in life, the road's gone from being completely straight to having a bend in it. Yet the thing that you have to take into consideration here is that when you keep moving forward and it's like you're taking one step in front of you and you're not looking behind you and you're not looking to see where you've, where you're, where you've come from, you get to see this bend one foot at a time. So that bend doesn't exist because you're taking one foot at a time, taking putting one foot in front of, a, of the other and it's no matter what comes in your direction, comes towards you, as you can see there's like cars walking towards, like coming towards me as I'm walking, yet they're just obstacles. They're what I've got to circumnavigate and as you'll see shortly, as I get up to this T-junction here, I have to make a decision. What do I do? Do I stay where I am? Do I look to my right and go down that way? Do I go straight on? Do I go back the way I came? Do I go that way? What decision do I make? Or what I can do is that I can cross the road and go in this direction. So I'm completely on my road to success I'm recognising that there's an obstacle coming the way that I've got um, decisions to make. Which way do I go? And then you might get a hill where you have to climb up a little bit and another obstacle might come in front of you. And then you get to another position where it's like, do I look right? Do I look left? Which way do I go? Then you make a decision. And as you make that decision, you go with it. You go with the flow. Because that's the way that we, that we, in my opinion, that we learn. We can learn the most from when we take a decision and we go down the road. We can learn about making decisions, about learning about the environment that we're in. Again, another decision to make. Do I go left? Do I go straight on? Or do I go right? Which way do I go? Where do I need to get to? I've got to think about where, where do I want to get to right now? Okay, 
in this particular instance, I needed to get to the train station. So my goal is to get to the train station. So I took the decision to go right. I could have gone straight over and gone a different way, but I chose to go this way. So it doesn't matter, as long as I get to my final destination, it doesn't necessarily matter. So, as you can see, I'm walking towards the train station, and there's a train on the side of the track that I need to go to. But you know what's really interesting? Is that just because that train's there, does it mean I have to get it there and then? Not necessarily. So I start to run up the, up the, up the steps to get across the bridge. And as I get across the bridge, it's like, I look down the track. The train sat there on the station. Do I need to get it? But there's a train maybe coming that way. So could there be another train in a few moments time? Who knows? But the train's leaving. So, hold on a second, what am I gonna do? I'm going to run down the stairs. Obstacles in my way. Doesn't matter. I'm circumnavigate those obstacles. Making a decision. Where am I going to go? Get to the bottom. And I'm going to walk along the train station. Along the platform. Because what I'm looking for is another opportunity. So I look at the timetable. Uh, you can't really make it out there. But it's about 10 to 5. <laughs> And there's a train at the top of the hour. So what do I do? I go one foot in front of the other, taking my time, still moving forward along my road to success. So I've been waiting underneath the bridge now, waiting for the right time for another time for the train to come along to help me along my road to success. Because a train, no matter how long you wait, will always come along. And as you can see, 10 minutes later, although it's a little bit out of focus, I think that's because of the lighting, is underneath, comes underneath the, the bridge where I've been waiting and now I can put one foot in front of the other again and as I move towards the train I actually get the doors open and I actually get upon the train. So there you go my friend, the road to success can start off just by you walking down a street, that road, walking down it and then just by making a decision, going left, straight on, right, where, whichever direction it may be, as long as you don't go backwards, as long as you keep moving forwards or you keep going, as I say, left or right, you never know what could what could turn up. For me, I had a, a goal that I needed to get to somewhere by any means necessary, but the particular route that I took, I actually got on a train, which got me there a little bit faster than walking. Than getting using the car but the whole point is that the fact that when you make a decision to move forward little things could happen that could create momentum so to win the game of life to get in you've got to be in the game of life otherwise if you sit on the sidelines you're never going to get involved so what do you have to do to help you with your road to success. What vehicles do you have to use? Which de decisions do you have to make right now, in this moment, that are gonna change your life forever? Because you have to be in the game of life, my friend. You have to be in the game of life. And to win, to move forward, to create momentum along that road to success, whatever that success may be for you, because it's going to be different for you, to me, to your next door neighbour, to your friends, to your family, but what does it mean to you? So I'll leave you with that thought, what is your road to success? I hope that this has given you a little bit of an insight into what mine is, 
and the kind of thought processes I go through, but what is it for you? This has been Matt Hutchinson. You have an amazing, amazing day. And whatever you choose today, make sure you do it in a playful manner. And I look forward to speaking to you again very, very soon. Have an amazing day. Thank you.